Hi everyone. Hi everybody and welcome to uh, the Exalt member test. I'm Zika and I will uh, be the examiner. This takes place in a tier 2 arena and Alright, let's begin. Okay, so I will have to kill myself and watch our play. Uh, for the purposes of this test, Zika is going to die as he will be dying as somebody without a ground force who would normally use that to kill themselves. So when you're taking your tests, uh, you are expected to uh, this arena, which oh. is one of the many that we use. Oh, sorry, um, the lag time between the mics is long. Um, yes, when we are doing this test, we normally revive the uh, examiner at the end of the first arena, but I won't be doing that so that Zika can record you guys, well, record me for you guys. Um, with this wave, when you kill one half of the enemies, so like the first round spawns two turret, uh, gun puppies, or bollocks, or howlitzers, and then a assortment of assortment of en enemies, when you kill half of those, it spawns another half wave. And this continues on until the very end, I do believe, of this wave. At the moment I will just take out the Mechanites and leave that one uh, polyp there. Because if he would kill the polyp, the polyp would have spawned. For the purposes of this test I am using one sword, one gun and one bomb. Oh yes. And if Shar would have killed the polyp, the polyp would have spawned uh, two healers, which in this case will probably be menders, and two extra enemies. Okay, so in this case it was four extra enemies. My bad. Uh, for this round I'm taking out the menders first, just to make it slightly easier on myself, so that I can take out this polyp easier. Uh, no, this lichen easier. Just taking out menders first is the unwritten rule of the clockworks. Although my weapons aren't exactly ideal for this arena because some of them are quite higher level than what members are most likely going to be carrying, well recruits are likely going to be carrying, uh, most 4 star weapons can uh, one hit kill these uh, uh, polyps. Yes, if you were to carry no, a 4 that, star night blade. Apparently it's not going well in practice. A four-star night blade with its charge would be able to kill a. Pack. And this is the final wave. This wave can also have um, Trojan, but it's mm, it's becoming very rare lately. Usually, it's a lichen, but it can be a Trojan as well. that just occurred here that you need to be careful of is that the mechanites which are available in pretty much all uh, arenas uh, will shock you if you get too close so bear that in mind when you're being a swordsman around them okay so this is where you would revive your examiner and that is the first wave done 
and uh, uh, for the purposes of the test I'm going to stay dead so let's mention something about vials while we're here uh, vials can be very useful on runs for example a curse vial uh, would be great to kill menders or even a puppy because Manders and puppies keep their attack constant. Manders attack is basically healing so as soon as someone is hurt they will heal them and kill themselves doing so. <coughs> people who are <coughs> sorry uh, people who are taking the test are also allowed to heal in the uh, room with the loot as well as that they are allowed to take any additional vials and pills and remedies that drop there into this uh, second arena and the same for the third another kind of useful vials is a stun vial Sha, would you mind to presenting how a stun vial works if you're cornered and uh, you don't have any means of getting out of it if you got a stun vial just draw it because it will knock back all enemies and you can use that to quickly run away okay so shall we as I will demonstrate here when I get swarmed there you go like so Poison vials are also good. They make enemies do less damage. They uh, will. And here I shall use a. Go on, Sean. Nope. Go on, Zika. Sorry. Uh, okay, we're having some technical difficulties. I will have to cut the video and uh, start it. Okay, we're back on. Okay, sorry. Uh, I was talking about a poison vial. Poison vials are good because enemies will deal less damage, they will take more damage and if they are healed while they are poisoned they will get hurt from the healer. Okay, now sharp. Uh, I'm just demonstrating the Ash of Acne here and this is one of the uh, many bombs in the game and as you can see, it just douses anybody in fire who dare enters its uh, lethal ring. Which is quite handy because if any enemy goes in there, they just take a constant burn damage for a couple of seconds. Which can uh, just make things easier for you by not having any enemies around. Or fewer enemies around. But I'm going to return back to swords now. Uh, Zika, do you want to show them armor and talk about defense and stuff? Uh, yes, uh, I will inspect Char. Char is currently carrying a two-star world cap, which is level one. Uh, if it was leveled, the little dark area would have been a uh, lighter blue and he would have a bit more defense there. He is also carrying a four-star Vita suit which is almost fully leveled and it is normal defense unlike the Wolver cap which is pierce and normal okay so he's also using a 3 star swift strike shield which is giving him attack speed increase high he is using a 5 star scissor blades um, which are basically a 5 star caliber they just look different a uh, bomb called Ash of Agni, which is one of the, uh, well, one of the most used status bomb in the game. And he's using a Prisma Driver, which is one of the Alchemers that has no status but inflicts slightly more damage. For this arena, uh, the best equipment would be, of course, having some um, shadow. Just in case people didn't know. Go on, Char. Uh, I'm just about to complete the last wave of this room. This wave 
uh, spawns two menders and three mechanites. It's a very easy wave and it's the um, easiest room of the arena. Oh, it seems you already did it. There we go. Okay, so uh, I'm talking about damage. Damage yeah. types. You should actually check out the basic damage types on the wiki. Uh, and you should kind of look around the wiki for the gear and other stuff because wiki is full of useful info. But for now, uh, jelly and gremlins are weak to shadow, construct and undead are weak to elemental, and fiends and beasts are weak to piercing damage. Since this is a jelly arena, and since we already mentioned that all arenas have mechanites, you should equip some shadow and some elemental if you can for this arena. Of course, piercing defense is welcome. <laughs> 